We are going to have to act if we want to live in a different world. Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. Today we're going to be talking about an update that was just released a few days ago. I know that I'm late on it, but I thought I'd cover it anyway because content, right? Anywho, so it looks like with this update, it's very unfortunate because the developers are like a tiny team. They aren't able to get everything out for 1030, it seems. Like 1030 was going to be a pretty big and ambitious update for the game, but it seems like they're not going to be able to drop everything out at once. So let's go ahead and get into this. The name of this update is Good Good news bad news where it starts out by saying we've been struggling to get the new character rig the skeleton worked out and ready for the new animations and character assets which was the core of the upcoming update at 10 30. that's very unfortunate that's the one thing that i was kind of really looking forward to but it continues on to say earlier this month we brought on board experienced freelance animator mike monk he is apparently a former tripwire developer with red orchestra rising storm and the killing floor series under his belt Ooh, this guy's got a track record to have a look at the new rig and help us make sure things were being done correctly and as future proof as possible so 2d2k is getting help it seems like you know i said in the previous video that 2d2k their main animator that's a lot of work you know to do every single animation by yourself that's that's a heavy task for one person to do so i'm glad that she's finally getting some help here or at least that's how i see it if the devs want to correct the record let me know so the new animations and character assets aren't going to make it into 10 30 unfortunately but then they say here let's release everything else if it's not dependent on the new skeleton why not put it out there and give everyone the new stuff to start trying out postponing the animation and character work sucks and we're beyond frustrated about being forced to delay the main attraction in the update but as the old adage goes it is what it is might as well make the best out of the situation so this is what they're going to do so we're going to be getting a smaller update yes but we're going to get it a lot earlier and have something to play with until they get the rest of the package sorted out it also means less potential for new bugs as well as getting older bugs such as the voip randomly not working fixed ahead of time which yeah, I've noticed that sometimes the VoIP doesn't always work, but yeah. So what will remain in 1030? Here are the remaining features that are supposed to be scheduled, but they don't actually list a date as to when this is supposed to come out. The first one here is first pass on the encumbrance system, weight and stamina. So yeah, basically this is going to determine how much gear you decide to bring in. This is probably going to stop you from actually running around like a maniac with a freaking LMG. Up next we got interactive lights, shootable, switchable, will be present in all maps instead of the announced few that being depot and training maps so yeah that was pretty much self-explanatory just flicking the lights on and off one thing that i would like to know though is are you going to be able to shoot out every single light or just you know select few two new multiplayer maps i wonder if it's going to be one of the new ones that we've seen in the previous patch because i think that they were working on a uh an oil rig last i checked i know that there's going to be like a bunch of overhauls to a bunch of other maps so we'll have to see what that's going to look like map soundscapes and updated acoustics updated acoustics was that always a did they talk about that before i don't think they said that right i don't remember them saying in the last update that they had updated acoustics i know they said map soundscapes but updated acoustics sounds different to me and tactical fal and the g3a3 those are some very very nice weapons i hope that we are able to customize them as much as possible so everything that i just mentioned right there is going to actually get into 10 30 on time again they haven't featured a date here but it's good that they're actually telling us what's going to be here and now they go into delayed features uh here's the first one here new and updated character assets they were made for the new skeleton specs and therefore will have to wait the next one is new and reworked animations which that one we already know about we got a couple of guns here the m24 sws due to the bolt action poses and animations prone which yeah that one came with animation and hit feedback man that just really sucks that they're not going to be able to pull all this stuff in here but you know they're a tiny team and at least they're being transparent parent with us about what's actually going on and then they push on to other features that might be in the 1030 update but it's to be confirmed features here the first one is visible gunshot wounds it's very rare that you actually see any gunshots in gb so it'd be cool to actually see where i actually hit someone and then we got the uh wristwatch relies on new clothes with cuffs pulled up to show properly with the long sleeve tops but we may be able to try a workaround okay cool now these watches are supposed to be used for uh 
uh, compasses, I believe, to like tell which way is north, east, south, west. Better to tell the time, but I think uh, compasses would be a lot helpful, especially for callouts. Up next, we got listen servers, aka hosting your own games without having to set up a dedicated server. Oh man, I would want that so bad. Like so many times do I just want to, you know, put up a co-op match for a couple of my subscribers and not have to like hop into a dedicated server. That would be so nice. Uh, this was not planned for the future at 1030, but it might be ready for it. Yeah, see, I noticed that there's a couple of things that I don't remember talking about in the previous one. So they're going to actually add that stuff. That's kind of cool. Cannot wait to try it out if it actually does get in here. And uh, yeah, then they go and um, show off some assets that may or may not have been shown before. I believe the weapon that they're showing here has been shown before. These were made by the new 3D artist Dan Conroy and Pau Penav. Fuller. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for messing up your name, my dude. Sorry. But anyways, they show off the M11 OK1. It says here that Mr. Conroy got the gas block, gas tube, dimpled barrel, and flash hider suppressor mount done for the upcoming battle rifle DMR. So that's kind of cool. They're telling us what attachments are already made for the weapon. Can't wait to try them out. Then they continue on to say, it might not seem like a whole lot of progress, but that's because he paused his work for a little while to work on the rage finder, which is something that's actually just been announced here in this update they say that they're going to get more info on this later but we can expect night vision as well as rage finding capabilities and yeah it looks pretty cool mosquito says on the little thing there aren't range finders just used for like um like whenever there's like a sniper and then he has like his dude next to him to like range finder i don't see why you'd actually use that i mean i don't i, don't, I mean i guess you could use it for like the big map like uh depot i guess that would i guess that would make sense like if you're using it in like a map like that but a lot of the maps are mostly close quarters so we'll see if uh when they add those new maps how big they're gonna be and then they show off a new version of the battle belt like this one looks a lot skinnier than the previous one that i've seen and then they show off a variety of gun belts which i believe this is the first time that they've actually talked about this i don't think we've actually seen this in the previous one and along with new fully textured chest rigs in the back those look like the ones from uh escape from tarkov like the really cheap one but they have like a bunch of different cosmetics to it or different colors looks neat the next picture shows it's a close-up of the blackfoot studios logo right there on one of the gun belts i think it is neato and then they show off these things called the magazine pouches with high poly pouch renders I'm trying to read what's on the side here it says made speed made in the usa maybe you got your mag pouches you got your uh what was that rifle rifle pouches ak pouches are these all the same types now they look kind of different these ones look kind of different i really like the detail on all this stuff looks cool and here's the last thing that they say here well that's all these these weren't easy news to break out, but we're done. We hope to have a working test built for 1030, along with more news soon. Rest assured, we'll keep you all posted. And as always, thank you so much for your support and patience. No problem. So that is the end of the update, and it was relatively tiny. But uh, I just want to take a second to appreciate how much the developers of Ground Branch have kept us in the loop of what's actually going on in the background. And not only that, but if I ever wanted to go in and ask them a question, I could literally just, you know, at them on the Discord and ask them if they're going to do like a specific thing or add something that i would like to see in the game and then they'll tell me their honest opinions now it may not be right away but you know give them some time and they'll come back and talk to you i like those kind of developers you know so i very much appreciate this update that even though we're not going to be getting everything they're going to give us everything they can give us which is kind of unfortunate but at least it's still a decent enough update for me to come back and play again oh especially if they add in the land servers that'd be great i would definitely use that just to play with a lot of subscribers so i don't get a whole lot of randoms inside i mean i don't mind randoms but when you're trying to do something tactical and you have random people joining in then they're gonna go off and do their own thing so yeah having land servers would be a great thing but yeah what are your thoughts on this whole update here i know i'm a little late with it but uh you know i thought i'd cover it anyway because i just like how the developers actually kept us in the loop of what's actually going on but those are just my thoughts what are yours if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like ground branch and other tactical shooters why don't you go ahead and like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that's new why don't you stick around subscribe ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month it really helps and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye